students return back to school tomorrow and tonight we're going in depth with the district's interim superintendent, Dr. Tony Signore. I asked him what the district and community need to know about this new year. Dr. Signore, first off, what are some of the changes everyone in the district can expect this year? Uh, well, first of all, there's going to be a, a lot of changes relative to uh, our goal in trying to make a you know, real team collaborative uh, effort uh, in aligning all of our efforts uh, district wide. Um, but we're going to put a big emphasis as far as for parents and the community um, really on, on attendance. Uh, we really want to increase attendance uh, district wide. It has uh, it's so important, not only academically for kids to be in school every day, but uh, also financially for the district for us to be able to provide uh, resources for our students and our programs. And so we're going to put a lot of emphasis on getting kids to school, motivating them to be here every single day. I understand that attendance has dropped in the wake of COVID. It has. It, it has an, it had an impact. Uh, I, obviously, uh, during uh, COVID, uh, when we're doing classes virtually, having half-day instruction, also doing it through this format, through uh, Zoom format, was a struggle. It, it also created a lot of distractions for kids. Uh, a lot of habits have been hard, hard to break. And again, no fault of their own. There were just things that really had to change, uh, but also the impact of COVID itself. Uh, students um, were still, many of our students were still reeling from the after effects of that, which also created you know, a lot of parents, uh, myself included, that would frequently allow our kids just to have a day off here and there. They just needed to have a break and we get it. Uh, we understood that uh, uh, there was an impact and many of our kids, you know, especially my own, they're doing well in school, Another day doesn't really harm uh, anything. The reality is, collectively, it creates a huge impact, uh, especially when we talk about our ability to provide financial um, uh, support for many of our programs uh, district-wide. And, and just as, as I kind of put that uh, an example, because everybody knows uh, we receive funding based off of student attendance. Um, and, uh, and anytime we have impact to that student attendance, it, it creates an impact for us long-term staffing, providing extra support for our extracurricular programs, uh, instructional programs, and kind of use it as an analogy. You know, we have, uh, uh, everybody knows that, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, uh, COLA, our cost of living adjustment is going to be at an 8%. Uh, we understand that. Uh, but if we kind of put that in the, in the analogy of a, of a uh, student attendance being like a, a sheet cake, 8%, uh, a slice of 8% of a sheet cake is a pretty good size. Uh, but if attendance is reduced to the size of a small individual birthday cake, then that 8% slice is significantly different. Uh, and that really impacts our ability uh, to provide those extra services for kids. And so that's something I really want to emphasize with families, uh, with uh, all our parents. Um, get our, your kids to school every single day. Not only is it extremely important academically, but for our ability to provide long-term uh, support. We take a lot of pride in the programs that we provide for kids. It's going to make a big difference. So please, please send the kids every single day, unless, of course, there's a valid reason. What are some of the biggest challenges you foresee going into this new school year? Well, I, I know that there's been a lot of discussion relative to, to staffing and the, and the teacher shortage is an absolute reality. Uh, I know our human resources department has worked extremely hard, uh, probably harder than ever uh, to provide uh, full staffing. I just want to reassure all our parents and our families uh, that services will not be disrupted, uh, disrupted, excuse me, uh, due to any teacher shortage. Uh, we still have uh, about a, a dozen or so vacancies that uh, our department is filling as, as we speak right now, um, but there will not be any disruption. Uh, we have backup plans for all of those uh, vacancies and uh, certificated personnel, even if they're substitutes, uh, there, there will not be a disruption. Uh, but that is a reality. Uh, we're doing a lot of, uh, to really encourage people, um, future students, to enter the field. We have a residency program that is currently, um, uh, will have uh, future teachers, over 20, about 25 
uh, teachers uh, for us uh, next year. Uh, they're currently in the program and they're going to be uh, working with mentor teachers this year. So we're doing thing, everything possible, but that will continue to be a challenge. Employee shortages has had its impact, but again, I uh, really am confident that we're gonna be in a good shape start day one. Finally, Dr. Signor, what is the message you would like everyone in the district and the community to hear going into this new school year? Well, I, I would like everybody to, to know that although currently my title is as interim superintendent, I don't want anybody to be mistaken that I'm not committed. I'm fully committed. I'm going to be supportive of the school board as they uh, begin their search uh, to find a, a great successor uh, to lead Palm Springs Unified. But during the, that timeline, I am here. I am fully committed to supporting our district in every possible way. Uh, I, I've been a resident uh, here uh, since 1993. All of my kids, and I, and I have 10 uh, kids, have all gone through Palm Springs Unified Schools. So I, I truly believe in this community and I am fully committed. So I don't want anybody to make that mistake. I'm, I'm here to help out everyone. And I also want you, everyone uh, in our community, our parents, take advantage of our expanded learning opportunities. We have grown that program tremendously. Our educational services department has done a great job. Ask your uh, school principal about expanded learning. There's tutoring, there's uh, arts, there's dance, uh, organized sports, plenty of activities for elementary through middle school to take advantage of. All right, Dr. Signor, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>